What is going on everyone? My name is Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the red color playing as Hades. His name is Shelty. In the blue color, joining the dark side. Come with me, join me, and together we will rule the universe. Playing as Ra, his name is Shadowfax. Oh, oh, it's exciting to see what you see here. I love it. I love it. I love it. Shadowfax is going to feel the pain of having to play against Hades, though, that every other Ra player has felt in the past, I don't know, year or so. But this is exciting. Shadowfax, for those of you guys who do not know, he is a uh, vanilla expert. And inside of being a vanilla expert, uh, he is a random god vanilla expert in that he can play every single god on vanilla at a very, very high level. And for those of you guys who don't know, Ra is one of those gods that was included in the vanilla game. So he is capable. While he is a Norse expert or a Norse specialist on the Titans, he is capable of playing some very, very nasty Ra. So we'll see what he's going to go for here. He has dropped his monument already, which means he has not gone for hunting dogs, which is a very, very uh, old build order. Definitely not one that I recommend uh, on, on, Vu uh, on the Titans at the moment. I do rate uh, hunting dogs in pretty much every single uh, iteration of Oasis. Even on the, the two zebra spawns, I would rather go for hunting dogs just in case my zebra have five, five, um, just in case my giraffe have five giraffe spawns and that way I can have a very, very nice game with those. And in fact, we are seeing an incredible amount of hunt here for, uh, for Shadowfax, but he's not scouting it out. He's going to be sitting in his base and he's going to be doing something a little bit different. And now we'll see how things are going to go as the Pharaoh comes back. A little bit of a missed micro here as you have to... One thing that I would like to see changed for Egyptian is if I right-click my Pharaoh onto an empowered building, I want my priest to stop empowering it. That would be a very nice quality of life change. Bam. Still thinking about things that could be better after 20 years. My golly gosh. We got an interesting comment in the uh in the chat here from joey bads he is uh a part of the uh the age of mythology strange uh offbeat strategy council that's what that's called it's his official name don't ask me where it came from but uh he has stated that uh he stated that he doesn't think that you Ra should ever build if the building is being unempowered it is the most value thing you can get. And let's do a little check here and see how close he is. Uh, Empower is a 30% increase for the build rate. So that means that a temple gets built 30% faster. Let's say it takes 40 seconds to build roughly. I'm not exactly sure what the actual number is. 30% faster would probably mean you take uh, 12 seconds off. So you're getting a 32 second uh, temple instead. Whereas if you were empowering, which would be well, 12 seconds, basically extra 12 seconds of uh, gather time, which is 12 resources roughly. So it depends on how many villages you would be empowering otherwise as to whether or not that'd be worth it. So if I had five villages on this gold mine, it would be better to empower the gold mine than empower the temple. Pharaoh is indeed 75% bonus, which... I actually don't know if my math is quite correct there either. 75% bonus build speed. So I don't know. I don't know how to work that out. I don't know if my math was right there or not. Seventy seconds becomes 53 seconds. Okay. Well, my math is probably wrong. It's a decent idea and definitely something that uh, the, the raw players should be considering. Joey Bad's coming with, with a clutch... Uh, the clutchest of clutches there with uh, with ideas never before thought about, never before seen ideas. As we see Athena coming through here for Sheltie, 
and Dar coming through for Shadow Facts. Uh, a bit of a late advance time from both sides of the spectrum here. Obviously, a three zebra spawn. Not the easiest of spawns to deal with, but I will be uh, I will be letting you know that it is uh, it's not the hardest either. All you got to do is literally practice it like one or two times. Go into single player. If you're finding yourself consistently having bad times on Oasis, go into single player and work out how to get that clean 430 advance time. I guarantee you it will take you, if you're a relatively high level player, it would take you one or two times to run in and test what exactly you need to do to ensure you get yourself a clean advance time. As we see, Shadowfax is now in the second age. He's got his wall set up over here. As we do see the uh, the the town center coming up on this position. No second town center coming through for Shadowfax. It looks to me like he is going for some sort of a one town center fast heroic. This is very, very vanilla, if you ask me. One town center, not something that... um. Not something that we see very often from the RAR players, but definitely a good idea and something to keep, uh, something to kind of catch the the Hades player off guard to some degree, especially on a map like Oasis where all of the gold mines are forward. Now, obviously, it's, it does take quite a while for a Hades player to exhaust their gold mine. You have to trade quite a bit to actually force them into a gold star situation as the RAR player. So we'll see if this is going to be the case here for. Shadowfax, and Shadowfax gets the most delayed second town center I've ever seen. So, the, this is weird for me. And let me explain a little bit about why we see normally when people go for fast second town centers, they go for it straight away rather than delaying the town center. Effectively, every 14 seconds you get your second town center up quicker is an extra villager, which means... Uh, and extra extra resources. So the fact here that Shelty gets his town center up before the Egyptian player means quite a bit in terms of the extra resources that Shelty's going to get. The one thing though that the delayed town center does for Shadowfax is it scares Shelty. It scares Shelty, and what I mean by that is generally speaking against Ra. The fast second town center of Ra is normally met by a fast three town center from the Greek player, normally, on this map. And going for the one town center play, or fake one town center play, into a second delayed second town center means that Shelty might not be economized right now to drop that third town center as fast as he would have liked. So, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, a little bit of mind game. So we'll see how it's going to work for Shadowfax. As to me, it does look like the resources are in for Shelty to grab that next town center. We already see archery ranges up for Shelty. And I don't know uh, if you know how I feel about this, but Toxodes are, uh, uh, are, not are not a unit I recommend against Egyptian uh, in the slightest. And this is something that Egyptian players, especially Ra players, need to do better of. If you see your opponent making Toxodes, what you need to do after you finish that rain is take all your villages, I mean literally every one of your villages, off of food and put them onto wood to start spamming chariot archers. You don't need to build cavalry here at all. Maybe one or two cavalry tops. But take all your villages off of food, put them onto wood, and then start making the chariot archers. As soon as you see Toxodes, because Toxodes, you just snipe them from behind. You can just keep on sniping, sniping, sniping. And, and, and there's nothing that the, the Hades player can do. But what we generally see here, and this is three archery rangers from Shelty. What we generally see here from the Egyptian players is they don't notice this. They just go into their standard camelry spam, expecting there to be a uh, Hippocon coming their way. And they get punished for it. Because while Toxodes, they're not good against camelry, so to speak... Camelry aren't necessarily good against Toxodes either because the, the units are in front, they block, the Toxodes deal damage and not getting attacked. Um, so they, they kind of deal decently. Shelty got a relic for Toxodes. So you do get the Trio's Bow, which is 17 range. Still not enough. Plus you have the Chariot Archers of Ra, which move at a 5.5 speed, which make them even stronger against Toxodes because they can dodge their arrows. Uh, as we do see Hathor coming through. 
the uh, Wadget over here going to be shooting at that Katoskopos, pushing that one back. And here's another thing that, that you can do a little bit of a... If you do end up going for this fast farm thing and you don't see the hunt, after you've rained, take the villagers off of food and move over and eat this hunt. It's another way to play. As we do see, now the Toxodes are being revealed here. And at this point, that's a lot of Minotaur here from... Uh, from Shelty, what is this build? Is he getting himself how many villages? He's got himself six villages on uh, on favor here. As the Toxodes get torn away from this position, the Minotaurs pushing forward. One of the weaknesses of Ra is definitely uh, Ra's inability to deal with myth units here. As the Minotaur coming through, taking out tons of units here. The Toxodes looking over onto this position as Shadowfax needs to start getting some units out. He is building some chariot archers out of that Migdol Stronghold. Is the Migdol Stronghold getting empowered? We do see immediately the Toxodes taking down the Priest. The chariot archer coming through. Maybe Shelty a little bit too aggressive. They're going to be retreating away as the Minotaur still pushing in onto this position. Tons of Minotaur coming through here as the Restoration getting dropped in onto this position here. Chiron going after. After the Patsukos, as those Minotaur are just able to clean up villages so easily here. They have so much HP, so much armor there as the uh, Rock does pick up the Patsukos, retreats that one back. The Priest getting taken down here relatively fast as well. More units streaming in onto this location as well as the, sh the Hades Shades are going to be helping with this push as well as more villages going down right now. Shadowfax is on 37 villages to, to Shelties, 58. And while you can say that there are roughly... Five or or five or four four or five villages here being relatively inefficient on that temple. It doesn't matter because Shelty's just got so many resources here, and he is making these Minotaur look incredibly strong. There's still no bull Minotaur technology here for Shelty, which at this point, I mean, it would be a very very good technology to grab for Minotaur out. Plus the extra is it twenty percent HP or something onto this one? Where is it, bull Minotaur? 40% hit points. So I guess after you got three Minotaur, getting Bull Minotaur is very much value in terms of uh, basically an effective extra Minotaur and a bit. As we do see the, uh, the Toxodes coming over here trying to deal with those Chariot Archers. Nice uh, micro from Shadowfax to keep his, uh, to snipe the Toxodes and keep his Chariots alive as he's going to be retreating back. I definitely think that uh, with, the, with the help of those Toxodes, he can very, Shelty can very easily push through here. He takes out that priest immediately. And look, the, the thing about Minotaurs is, uh, Minotaur is, the unit Minotaur is that it has 10 crush damage as well, which is absolutely huge. 10 crush damage. Now, the counter to this for, uh, for Ra players, if you're wondering, is Patsukos. You spam Patsukos out, and you're good to go. Patsukos chariot archers. Should be able to win these fights relatively easily. But at this point, you can see, look at the problem here for Shadowfax. He's built these farms, as we do see a locust getting dropped down. Not really that much damage onto it. But he's built these farms and he's refused to just stop gathering from them. Because he's not spending any food at all in this spot. He's refusing to get off the farms and onto gold to get, spend that favor. He's got 44 favor in the bank. You can see one, one Minotaur goes down relatively quickly there, there by the uh, Patsukos, but the Patsukos dies as the Chariot Arch is getting cleaned up and the Minotaur retreating away from there. This Patsukos gets sniped down as well by the Towers and the Sentinel to boot as we do see Shelty retreating away as well. As the Camelry getting cleaned up there. The third Town Center now up for Shadowfax, but Aphrodite is already on the way here. What's the plan here for Shelty? Shelty's got his farm set up. Shelty, what he can do at this point now as well, he, he could just go Mythic Age through Artemis and continue this favor spam thing that he's doing. He's got these, he's got these mid <laughs> Nemean Lions. Why not? Why not? Why not spam Myth units? You guys out there are like, I, I can see, I can see uh, this, this image. Of, uh, of of age mythology people who people who view age mythology like age mythology doesn't have enough myth units age mythology has plenty of myth units guys look at this three two Nemean lions three minotaurs plus shelty's built tons of minotaurs already and technically speaking his shadow facts should have been making patsukos so is it the age mythology doesn't have enough myth units or is it because uh the players just decide to not make myth units in the right situations 
as you do see the camelry coming through onto this position village of retreating away we've got some walls coming up on this position as well as the camelry retreating back we do see the minotaur getting taken down and the other thing is like bill minotaurs they only cost 150 food 14 favor that's very cheap for that much stat that many stats on the uh on the minotaur is is absolutely insane uh the market's coming up here for uh shadowfax to continue in this game he's got a magic shit ton of food that he can't spend here so starting a trade route would make a lot of sense here he's probably sitting nearly well he's not actually artemis is the god of choice after all here for uh for shelty makes a lot of sense earthquake this spot this gold mine will be expired well it's actually not ex as, as mined out as i thought it would be as we can still see shadowfax for some reason farming here when he's got berries, he's got the uh, the giraffe here. Yes, he's got Shadoof, so the farms aren't that expensive, but the logic still applies. If you don't need a farm, don't farm. And Ra players need to learn that fact. If you want to use rain, no worries. Use rain and then come off the farms. Then go back to the farms. Big Dog Stronghold now up for Shadowfax on this position as well. There's the Town Center coming down for uh, Shelty and the question here is, look at the favor. Look at the favor. He's only got four villages on the favor, but he can make uh, immediately start making himself those Chimera. But Osiris is on the way here for Shadowfax, and a hard counter to the myth unit spam that Shadowfax has done is Mummy. Mummy, and obviously Son of Osiris, is going to be very, very useful as well. So you do see the units coming in onto this position. Those Camry are going to be... Uh, effectively useless in these fights they cannot get in onto those toxodes with those uh with those bull minotaur here as well as the uh, units come through immediately the uh, pharaoh and pers uh, prospective son of osiris gets sniped down luckily for uh as we see the curse getting dropped down luckily for shadowfax that son that pharaoh will most likely uh be re rebuilt for free by the time he hits mythic age or a little bit after that so it shouldn't be that big of a deal but the uh the Emu Lion runs through. Earthquake is most likely going to be dropped in onto this location here. Taking down the towns and taking down the houses, taking down the siege works here as well. The Nemean Lion does drop down to 24 HP from full HP there. It's definitely worth it to send in a, a, a much weaker unit as now Shelty is ready to grab this town center and he is in a commanding position in this game. Fortress, the, God, uh, the uh, building of choice here. I'd love to see Shelty pushing in onto this position and cutting off this corner walls over here uh or even a wall over here wouldn't go astray both players not walling very well in this game at all i mean Sh at least shelty has walled off his main base for the most part as we do see the units coming through here to grab this one back up the units here for shelty coming up and we see shelty going for an immediate secrets of the titans in this game here for shelty this is very, very rare to see a Greek player prioritizing this this much as, uh, I mean, Secrets of the Titans is, is you, you see like Atlantean players prioritizing Secrets of the Titans, but can Shadowfax do the same is the question. He's got the resources for it. He's in the Mythic Age. His units are getting taken down on this position. A good raid here from uh, from Shelty as the fortress is just about up. I don't think that Shadowfax, I mean, Shadowfax does see the fortress, but... For some reason, putting no effort into stopping that. It's going to be a tough one to get that town center back up. We still don't see the the uh, Siege of the Titans coming through for Shadowfax as he's getting Masons through to try and keep his uh, Migdol stronghold alive here. As the uh, Mercenary Cavalry, they're actually a decent unit here to deal with this. Will we see that mummy get taken down over here? Target that one down with the Toxodes for sure. 350 HP. We do see one of those uh, Myth units will get sniped down the high HP. Uh, Nemean Lion, nice micro there, yet again from Shadowfax, very well, uh, very, sh Shadowfax is really good at that, he's always paying attention to the low HP units, making full value, and we're now starting to see those Heliopolis coming through, and this is a very, very tough time here for uh, a Ra player to deal with. Ra does not deal well with the Hades army in the slightest in the Mythic Age. It's not an easy army to deal with. Once the Hades player has got his upgrades, got his Heliopoli, got, it, got, got, got his units out, Ra struggles. And the thing is here, the Shadowfax, he doesn't 
It doesn't matter. Like he's he's got he's got plenty of resources or Shelty, it doesn't matter. He's got plenty of resources in the bank. He's got a Titan coming through. He's got army flowing in onto this position as he's going to be putting pressure while getting the Titan gate up. And he doesn't even need to get himself this talent center. One thing that Shelty does need to be worried about is the rock flying through here and dropping a ton of catapults in. There is a very, very easy way to fly through this way run around the map and, and and try and take out that titan gate from the side uh, but that is a lot of resources to invest as we do see the son of osiris getting targeted down immediately here by shelty chasing this one up shadowfax needs to continue to pull that one back there as in that moment shadowfax decides the game is done as shelty an incredibly dominating performance here with an offbeat strategy that is very very rare minotaur toxody on the map oasis now let's talk, I, I want to talk a little bit about why Shelty made, picked this strategy because I think it's an interesting idea. Uh, and I don't know, know if it necessarily would work two times in a row. It's definitely an interesting idea. The idea is that on Oasis, you don't have as much food. Minotaur costs 200 food. But it's kind of worth a handful of I guess it's it's kind of worth a handful of hoplites. How many how much HP does it have? Not in or maybe in terms of damage, it's worth about three hoplites. So that's three one hundred and fifty food. But in terms of HP, it's also about worth three hoplites. So I'm not even sure it makes sense to go Minotaur here. But you basically you can trade some of that food away. Or some of those resources away by going onto the temple to get favor instead of gathering the resources. But I, I, I think in hindsight here, hoplites are a little bit more cost effective. Though that being said, the, the Minotaur does have more effective HP, right? Because it's got 60% hack, 55% pierce compared to the 34% hack. So it's got more effective HP. So we should be a little bit more fair about the analysis. So it's probably, the Minotaur is probably worth more like four, four or five hoplites. So it does end up making some sense uh, when you're on low food to go for that in a way. Anyways, I don't know. But a fun way to play here for for, uh, for Shelty and, uh, and and an exposing strategy here for Shadowfax. And he's going to have to rethink about all, all of what he knows about Ra in in the economy to try and figure out how he can deal with this in the next game. But there is no next game against Shelty because Shelty cleans him two to zero. Uh, and that's a that's a pretty uh, scary sign for Shadowfax in this tournament because he's really going to have to start winning all of his games if he's going to be wanting to make it out of the group stages. Well played by Shelty. Congrats to winning the series. If you guys enjoyed this one, please consider the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next game.